So we're looking to that um, first and more specifically the, the asset quality and the provision coverage. So starting off, what prompted us is uh, we saw first trend uh, decrease recently its provision coverage uh, where peers are increasing and also guiding for credit loss ratio um, at the bottom end of its range where peers are currently guiding to the top end. So this all comes from in an environment where we, we know the rising interest rates and the inflation putting uh, pressure on consumers, uh, especially in South Africa, we see on the retail side. First hand, however, I said they still see a growth, uh, especially with their targeted origination approach um, in the lower or middle um, risk segments. And also in the latest financials, we saw that, that they said um, customers are still growing, but especially the, 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 uh, the clients above 450,000 Rand. And also, if you look specifically at the advances there, um, on FMB side, um, the clients with the above 450,000 income levels, the, the advances grew there by 10%, where they actually reduced the advances um, uh, for customers below that level by 6%. So you can see, see that shift there as well. But we did have a further look into the overall asset quality side of um, first hand, and you can also see in the segments um, where they're shifting away from the riskier type of products and, and increasing a bit the lower risk side. Then on the valuation front, uh, it's sitting at the lower end of its uh, pricing uh, history multiples and we have a buy recommendation on first hand. And but we change our mind is if the profitability compared to peers were to decrease, um, first hand does have a higher uh, margins and uh, likewise a premium on that side on the valuation front. Thank you very much for joining us today.